Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa. Moody Sick. My name is MJ Omoto, and in the next few minutes, I am going to give you a rundown of Lungu Boy by Ashaki. The clock starts now. The latest African album review is... Sometimes the way an album starts really sets the tone for the experience, and I feel like Ashaki captured something special on the intro of Lungu Boy which is titled Start. It has the right mix of musicality with the female lead at the start of it, a little EDM feel in the instrumentation without really going in, going in, and the occasional Ashake grit as he drops a few bars. How he followed up with the light snare touch on MMS with Wizkid was masterful, especially considering that popular crowd chorus uh, Ashake is now famous for, which opens up the first 52 seconds or so of the song. And this song is irresistible on multiple fronts. The groove is there without being a party vibe. You want to move to it. You want to sway from side to side. The instrumentation is magnetic. The guitar work, blissful. And the jazzy feel as well. I liked Ashake's verse more than Whiskey's verse, but that's not to say anything in particular, just preference. Regardless, the song is heat, absolute heat, and I added it to the Pore Pore playlist on Spotify. Ashake then picked up the tempo a little bit on Mood, which is more tempoed up and feels more afro housey and even afro amapiano y without the hard hitting log drums. It's nice though, it's, it's a vibe. And after a couple of minutes of listening to the song My Heart, I kept wondering, why was the song reminding me of something? And then it hit me, Mob Deep's Quiet Storm. That's it, Mob Deep's Quiet Storm beat with a twist. That's my heart right there. Listen to that song and tell me what you think about that. Are there similarities or what's going on? But yeah, for sure, it reminded me of Mob Deep's Quiet Storm beat with a twist. The song Worldwide had a very interesting composition. The foundation of the song is dancehall, but instead of the bass which would carry the dancehall song, Saz switched it out with a log drum, so it hits different. I loved the experimentation there, and I think it came out well. Which brings me to the song Active with Travis Scott. The absolute worst take I am seeing is people saying it's an Ama Piano song. It is nowhere near that. On its best day, it could never, ever be an Ama Piano song. That's just disrespectful, man. But also, people just don't know what they're saying. Just because a song has a log drum doesn't automatically make it Ama Piano. But I will fight that war on a different day. Generally, you can hear on songs such as Suru with Stormzy that Ashake has actually mastered being a fusion artist of sorts, which is what makes him so good at what he does. Very few artists can fuse Afro beats, Afro beat, Ama Piano jazz, R&B, EDM house, hip hop, breakbeats, Afro pop and more to make this musical concoction. And to me, that is Ashake's USP, which is why he will continue to grow his star because he manages to do that on every individual song where he concocts this fusion as opposed to other artists that typically are multi-genre, so to speak. One day they do Afro beats, next day they do more dancehall, next day they do more Afro pop, the next day they do more Ama Piano, and even put that all together in one album, but it's distinct sounding as individual genres. But he, Asaki, knows how to mix all these together to tug on your individual heartstrings to hook us. I mean, listen to the song, Ah uh, Yeah. The lead sound is 100% what you'd hear on a techno or a trance song, 
but did you hear how he brought it back right back to his nigerian roots which makes you go what the that is the genius at work as a result the more i listened to lungu boy the more i appreciated ashake's musical palette he knows exactly what to serve his audience and his influence are so wide that palette is is really wide that it's hard it's, it's impossible to put him in one box he's got his own thing something else to add actually it would be diabolical if i didn't mention the powerful collabs on lungu boy whisked stormzy travis scott central c ludmilla yo 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 heavy hitters all the way at 15 tracks with a runtime of 48 minutes and 7 seconds Lungu Boy is long enough to feel albumy. Albumy. <laughs> nice word that I just created right there. But anyway, it's long enough to feel album like without dragging things too much. I would still cut it down to 12 songs given the option and would have a nicer core of songs just to tighten it up in my opinion. Lungu Boy kind of lost me a little bit after track 12 I think. but maybe it was just listener fatigue at the time so it might be worth me sitting down with it again and listening to it in a different setting different mood and all that but besides that i actually think ashake is one of the top album artists in nigeria as well and he's done that in a very short space of time it's interesting that he's given us this album i wasn't expecting it but Um I'm not following music as much as I used to in many ways but uh still for him to give us this album also shows his work ethic. He's doing a whole lot in the industry. He's he was actually out here in Canada um a couple of months back, you know, in uh here in Edmonton and then in Toronto I think. So hey, the man is working and doing his thing, but to also give us an album which uh, which is actually this good is testament to how much work he actually puts in for me lungu boy has got some distinct highs man especially you know i think that first seven eight track uh, bit of the album the that first half oh i really loved it and the experimentation trying something new doing something different and surprising the listener a little bit love that how would i rate this album for me it's an 8 out of 10 really well done there's some fantastic highs like i said and i i think this could be could be uh one of my favorite ashake albums to date for sure and yeah maybe in my top 2 what do you think of it let me know in the comments below and before i dip check out my website mjwomoto.com m j w e m o t o.com otherwise that's it for me my name is mj omoto Son of Zimbabwe signing out. Peace. Dende. This podcast is hosted by MJ.